Hey, how's it going? This is Helmi, the YouTube Funnels guy, back again with another case study. In today's video, I'm gonna show how I got 724 plus new users sign up for a SaaS company. Follow this exact formula. This case study is for digital entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, and business founders who want to know the tried and tested secrets of getting consistent inbound leads without ever relying on cold outreach and paid ads. I achieved this by implementing my YouTube funnel strategy. Let's go. So first, Involve Asia is a marketing tech SaaS company. They are essentially an affiliate marketing network. Involve Asia connects brands to the content creators that can help promote their products. For the content creators, they can earn affiliate income by promoting these brands that are registered on Involve Asia. So it's a win-win for both parties. Involve Asia makes a small cut from each of these affiliate conversions. So I am a content creator myself and I have produced three YouTube tutorial videos how to educate other content creators on how to earn affiliate income with Involve Asia and get them to sign up as new users. So I experimented with two languages. One is English, the other one is the local language, Bahasa Malaysia, to see which resonated best with the target audience. So here are Involve Asia's lead gen results. 19,000 total views, which produced 724 new user signups. And out of that, we have 43 plus ideal users from three YouTube videos. Don't get too excited by all the new user signups because a lot of the times there's a lot of people who sign up but they don't do anything. Ultimately, you want to get ideal users, people who continue to use your SaaS and generate money. So my three lead generating YouTube videos, the first one has 3.2K views, the second one 4.8K views, and the third one is 11.2K views, totaling 19,000 combined views. So here are involved ages before and after. So before they rely on paid ads to get leads, after the YouTube funnel, they get qualified users organically for years. So before number two, the prospects don't really trust Involve Asia as a brand, but after they have seen multiple YouTube tutorial videos, especially from somebody they like, prospects gain trust from these video tutorials, and then they sign up as a user. And the last before the YouTube funnels, Involve Asia probably get a lot of low quality inactive users, after the YouTube funnel, Involve Asia gets revenue generating users. That's what you want as a SaaS. Okay, so how does my YouTube funnel work? Here's an overview. So first, we got to identify the target audience's pain points. Number two, we do a step-by-step -step video tutorial. I'll give the formula later. Three, we'll start recording that YouTube video. Once that is published, we can repurpose it into a blog post and a Twitter thread in my content multiplier. Finally, the call to action for all of my content is to get them to register as a new user. Now it's your turn to get leads. Just follow my six steps. So step number one, identify your target client's pain points. So Involve Asia's target audience is digital creators who want to earn online income promoting affiliate products. So these could be bloggers, influencers, Instagrammers, YouTubers, people who make content online and want to make extra money. So although not much marketing has been done, word of mouth has begun to spread within the creative community. The keyword Involve Asia has a good amount of search traffic and low competition as indicated by the vidIQ score. So this makes it a little bit easier for our YouTube videos to rank organically because people are already searching for this stuff. So we will address objections from prospects in the solutions aware phase in your funnel. They want to earn extra online income, but they are unaware that Involve Asia is the perfect solution for that. So list down all the possible questions that these creators in this phase will potentially ask. As a digital creator myself, I immediately have three questions. The first one is, what affiliate products to promote? Number two, how to generate my affiliate link? Number three, how to promote my affiliate links? So your YouTube video tutorial will address all of these concerns. But before you start shooting, let's move on to the next step. Step number two, set up your funnel. So make sure you have a way to collect and convert the views into leads before you begin creating any YouTube videos. So this process is called building a funnel. In my scenario, Involve Asia already has a signup page. All I have to do is drive traffic to that page and encourage my viewers to sign up. So if you're a SaaS company, place your new user signup page in the YouTube video description. If your business is not a SaaS company, you can create an opt-in page using your website builder or an email software. For example, ConvertKit or MailChimp. Now we got the technicality bit out of the way, let's move on to the next step. Step number three, become a real user. So this is where many marketers fail. They tell, but they don't show. You gotta become a real user and get some real results using your SaaS. In this case, I registered as a creator with Involve Asia. I started promoting affiliate products on my personal social media accounts. Three, I get people to buy my affiliate recommendations and four, I earned real affiliate income 
you will need plenty of these screenshots in your YouTube video tutorial because you will appear very trustworthy and transparent. Once you have real results, let's move on to step number four, high converting YouTube video tutorial formula. Bookmark this. Step number one, the intro. How this video will transform the viewer from A to B. Make this not more than 15 seconds. Number two, show my real results as proof. These are the screenshots. Number three, a quick explanation of the overall concept. Not more than one minute. We don't want to bore the reader. Step number four, the honest pros and cons. Step number five, tips to avoid failure for beginners. So this is really valuable. And this is what make your video unique compared to other videos. And the last step, the most important one, call to action. Tell them to sign up with the link in the YouTube video description. So you can use timestamps on your YouTube video to help the viewer navigate to their desired action. Here's an example. On the left side, these are the timestamps. And at the bottom is the sign up link. Now you know the formula for a good YouTube tutorial. It's time for lights, camera, action. Step number five, record your video tutorial. So tutorial videos are easy to produce as you'll be using your webcam and screen recording software to teach people how to use the SaaS. I recommend two AI software. Both have free plans so you can try. The first one is Loom. Everybody knows Loom. And the second one is Descript. That's my personal choice. Here is my English YouTube video tutorial, but this is also my least performing. And here are my two YouTube video tutorials in the local language, Bahasa Malaysia, which are the best performing of the bunch. So using the local language resonates better with the local people as expected. So if you haven't noticed yet, my video quality is not impressive. However, as long as the audio is clear and the content is solving the target audience pain points, you should still get leads. Be as genuinely helpful as possible and explain how to use your SaaS as if you're explaining it to a close friend. So if you do it right, you'll start to get comments like this. Clear explanation, watching from the Philippines. Very useful video, thank you. Great, so after publishing your YouTube video, it may take some time to get organic traffic. So here's a little trick that I use to get leads quickly while we wait for the YouTube algorithm magic to kick in. Step number six, repurpose YouTube videos for maximum reach. Here's how I do it. I use the YouTube video script, add some more value to it, and that becomes my blog post on my website. This is an effective way to capture free SEO traffic. From that blog post, I can repurpose that into a Twitter thread. So here's an example. To capture as much attention as possible, I started the hook with the amount of money that I've earned. So this is the results that the target audience wants. They don't care about anything else. They want to make money, right? So I just withdraw $46 affiliate income from Involve Asia. Want to see how I do it? See the next tweet. So this tweet got 60,000 views and some of the sign up came from this tweet. So the arrival Twitter thread will get you inbound leads for maybe 24, 48 hours, but dies off pretty quickly after that. A YouTube video and blog post may not get you leads immediately when you publish them, but they will continue to compound over time. So combining a viral thread with a YouTube video is a very powerful marketing strategy. So there you go. Let's wrap everything up in the key takeaway section. Step number one, identify your target client's pain points. Step number two, set up your funnel. Step number three, become a real user. Step number four, high converting YouTube video tutorial formula. Step number five, record your video tutorial. And step number six, repurpose your videos for maximum reach. There you go. These are the exact steps you can replicate to get warm leads for your SaaS or service business. If you need help to get more leads, but you don't have the time to do this yourself, book a free call and let's talk. I have many more case studies, so do check those out. Again, my name is Helmi, the YouTube Funnels guy. See ya.